It's hard to stay on your diet. Sometimes we're heading to those holiday parties, so we're making a skinny dessert for you. And I've got my pros from bar 145. Brandon. Hello. What's for supper? Uh, we are going to do a, a no bake pumpkin cheesecake. I love it. Okay, you know, I knew you had this for a reason. Everybody's obsessed with pumpkin these, this time of year. Yep. So we're going to get on the bandwagon and we're going to join them. Yum. Sounds great. What's so first? So what I'm going to have you do is take some breadcrumbs. Okay. Um, again, we have all this measured out on the website if you want to check out the recipe. Okay. Um, graham cracker. Graham cracker crust. Okay. Looks like some brown, brown sugar. sugar. Okay. Yep. And then you're going to go ahead and add some canola oil. All right. And then you want to whisk all that up together. Am I saving um, calories by not using butter? Because you, I absolutely. usually would use butter. You, normally you melt some butter down. Um, the oil is going to save you a little bit okay. of headache there. You don't have to feel so guilty about it. <laughs> but you want to get that nice and evenly coated all the way around so okay. that our pie crust comes out. All right. Um, we're going to load that into a spring pan. Okay. So essentially your spring pan always comes as is. Mm -hmm. um, what I like to do is take it and flip it upside down. Uh, okay, we got this lip around here, um, which is hard to cut a pie once you're done. So we're going to flip that upside down. We're going to go ahead and put that in there. And uh, we're going to close that down. There. Nice. Make sure it's in there nice and tight. Okay. It usually takes me about 15 minutes to figure out my spring pan. Right. <laughs> yeah, they're not the easiest. <laughs> um, baking sheet. Okay. I just went and traced it. Cut it out. We're gonna put that in there, mm -hmm. and then you're gonna add your pie crust Ready? to the bottom right. of the pan. Yep, right. looks good enough. Good. Then what you want to do is evenly, kind of pat this down, mm -hmm. and make sure that we have it, all of it even okay. all the way around. I really like it when you come to my house. That's fine. We're I able can, to make these together. Because I get to leave everything behind for you. <laughs> and you do the dishes. That's right. <laughs> All right, just press it down. Yeah, you want to make okay. sure all this is even. Okay. Sometimes so I use even. a spoon. What do you think? Is that an okay trick too? Whatever you'd like to use at home, okay. whatever you're comfortable with. That's yeah, the best thing about these. Is there's no really right or wrong way to do it. Just... If you have the recipe, um, you know everybody has their own way of okay. doing it or the way they've been taught. Mm -hmm. So as long as it's even, it's in there, you're good to go. Okay. Next, we're going to take some cream cheese. Right. We're going to take our pumpkin filling. Again, all this stuff you can just purchase right at the store. Okay. Um, I go with a whipped cream cheese. Otherwise, you're going to have to whip it yourself. Okay. Um, so you're gonna have to, you know, spend some time doing that. I think it's easier just to buy, buy whipped. it whipped. Yeah. Now I um, buy the regular cream cheese and I'll soften it in the microwave. Is right. That okay Same too? idea. Okay. Um, this is just kind of saving us a step, and it's not costing you a whole lot more money, if anything at all. Okay. Um, but we're gonna want to whisk all this together. Mm -hmm. So you got your cream cheese, your Yum. pumpkin. We're gonna add cinnamon to that. Mm -hmm. What about that pumpkin spice? Pumpkin no spice need? again. Uh, everybody's got their own kind mm -hmm. of old school way of they, how they do things. Okay. I'm sure their mom had recipes, aunts, uncles, whatever it may be. Um, it smells so good. Just a little cinnamon. With, yeah. Got the cream cheese. Might want to get a bigger bowl. <laughs> we, I picked the smallest one I could find. <laughs> I have a few in the cupboard there, but hey, it's all um, good. We're using almost every bowl I have today, Brandon. That's it's all fine. good. <laughs> so the key is this gelatin. Uh, you're going to want to get unflavored gelatin at the store. It's right next to the jello. Um, Ooh, that's our secret ingredient? Yeah, it's what's okay. going to bind everything together and All make right. this actually a pie. Right. Since it's a no, it's since it's a no bake. Okay. Um, you're going to want to add that? this. Does it mean you need mix more? Yeah, I think mix we should probably more. mix that a little bit okay. more. Again, I didn't give you the advantage here with that small bowl. But uh, you want to just add I'm this to a... cream cheese everywhere. Look out. <laughs> it's a pumpkin pie all over. The dog will get that. Don't worry. That's what really? nobody's here for. <laughs> okay. So we'll add this to a half a cup of water. You want to heat this up to okay. get the gelatin going. Um, once you pull it out, it'll cool down a little bit, and you'll start to kind of see that turn into a gelatin, just like you would jello. Right. So it's going to thicken up as it cools. Okay. Um, but you want to make sure it doesn't cool completely. Otherwise, you're going to have a hard time mixing it in. So took a napkin here. If you're by yourself and you don't have an assistant, you can kind of throw your bowl in there, mix it up so the bowl doesn't move. That was a good trick. My friend Denman taught me that. I like that. He shreds. Yeah, so he, he does. Good job, Denman. <laughs> All right, thanks, Denman. Appreciate <laughs> thanks, that. Thanks, Denman. <laughs> so once you have this, essentially, um, we're going to speed up the process here for the sake of television. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're going to want to whisk your gelatin in. Same as, whisk is okay? Right. Okay. But you want to do it slowly because that's going to have to okay. even go Can I go show up. everyone how we're Absolutely. doing it? Absolutely. Okay, go for it. So you want to go ahead and mix. And again, add a little bit. Make sure we Stir mix all that in. up so it's evenly. That way your pie, your pie comes out consistent. I understand. Okay. I'm still flailing everything everywhere. That's fine. <laughs> Use a bigger bowl next time, everyone at home. <laughs> yeah, okay. that, that size would have been a little bit better, but we're good. We're going to make we're it. We're good. It's going to still gonna, taste great. It, it okay. looks great. That's a good okay. consistency, too. You're hired. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> we'll add the rest of that to that. Good. We'll get it mixed up. Okay. I can see what you're so saying. So really you have 
you know, minimal ingredients, mm -hmm. maximum flavor. Yes. I think I've heard and that once the no before pay. on the Food Network. <laughs> You're stealing it. That's fine. I'm taking it my own. That's right. It's all good. Copyright it so every time they use it. <laughs> That way we don't have to cook anymore for a little bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like the fact that you're coming here, to, of course, to make this with me, but the no-bake part, when you're, have, your oven is so busy it's with quick, everything it's else. It's easy. Again, kids it's good. can help you with this one. Absolutely. Okay. How am I doing here? Great. Pretty good. I think you're a lot done. <laughs> I'm getting messy everywhere, That's but fine. it's all good. Yep. Okay. You can clean up, right? Absolutely. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I do what I'm told these days. That's what I heard. Yeah. Okay. Now so, what? We're gonna go ahead and take this. Do we need this anymore? Uh, we do not. Okay. We're just gonna take a spatula. Okay. Evenly dump that Move out. That way. Oh, sorry. Here, how about if I help you? By all means, all right. please. We're gonna just layer this in here, nice and easy, right? And I'm not much of a baker, so, you know, for me to show up at a party with this, <laughs> and they're like, you baked as a cheesecake? <laughs> like, absolutely. I sure did. They're like, I'm actually impressed. Uh -huh. And I actually did it uh, at low calorie, too, right? Absolutely. Okay, you can make it look Yeah. Great. So, again, there's no right or wrong. You just want to spread this out evenly. And then once that gelatin starts to cool down, it'll start to actually form that cheesecake that we're looking for. Now, at bar 145, we try to have a healthier menu, too. Do you also offer that for the desserts? Um, actually, right now, we are going to feature mm -hmm. um, our no-bake cheesecake throughout the holidays. Okay, good. Um, we do have a couple different um, fruit-based pies, mm -hmm. um, which are not extremely good for you, but they're not bad for you. Well, you can tell it's them a guilty that you saw pleasure. this one. Uh, and if you come to Bar 45 and you get a healthy dinner, which you can because we have our stack your own menu, mm -hmm. we have healthy ideas um, that you could choose from, mm -hmm. and then that way you can have dessert that's not that healthy, mm -hmm. you know. You, you, you can't just put this that, in the sink, You don't right? have to feel that guilty. Because <laughs> you ate Ooh. a good dinner, so now you can that have a good. little bad dessert, you know? I like it. You have to lick the spoon. Absolutely. So that's it. <laughs> we're going to throw that oh, in the fridge. Oh, that's all? And okay. we're going to let it sit for about 30, 40 Perfect. minutes at the most. I would say probably 20 is good enough. Okay. And then you're off to the I party. got it. All right. Magic of TV, though. Show me the finished that's, one. That's right. So, now that that's cooled down, we're gonna take our cheesecake back out okay. of the fridge and bring it over here. So right. there's our finished product. That's what Ooh. you should basically be looking for. That looks really good. Um, okay, the key with these uh, spring pans are, you wanna make sure you kinda of take a knife and just slowly take it on the outside of the pan. Because once you break that spring, um, you know, there's a good chance that the rest of the cheesecake or pie may or may not come with it. Mm -hmm. So carefully just go around the edge like so. Mm -hmm. And then we will go ahead Pop the spring. Ooh, look at that. It comes out so pretty. Oh, and there that's is so your no bake pumpkin cheese cake. Oh my goodness. That's beautiful. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, add a little whipped cream to the top. Oh my gosh. And then just for a little bit more flavor, we have some diced uh, dried cranberries, craisins, yes. if you will. That uh, very festive for my Christmas. Buddy Cody or over Thanksgiving. here hooked us yeah. up with. Even New Year's. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And it really brings that fall flavor. And then we also have some nuts. walnuts that we mm. also have. Now, would, do those have a little sugar on them, or would you go more than that, the regular? These here are sugar? actually the ones that we use at the bar, so they are a little candy. We cook mm. them ourselves in the oven. Um, but, you know, you can get them any way at the store. Even a normal, you know, nut of any kind is going to add a little bit. of walnut's a good fall um, option to put. I'm going to let you cut a piece. I'm going to turn down the stove a second. Our turkey chili's going bananas. Ooh, that looks fantastic. There's that. How about a little? Ooh, that looks fantastic. Oh okay. my gosh. Let's Let me get you a little that. more whipped cream here. Yes, please. That's the key. <laughs> so when you serve it, do you want to have a little bit of whipped cream on the side? Absolutely. Oh man, that looks fantastic. Again, you're gonna have a healthy dinner, so you don't have to feel that guilty about having a healthy cheesecake. Oh, very rich. Sweet. I'm not missing nice any calories. Absolutely not. Mm. No baked pumpkin cheesecake. Mm. That's what's for supper.